Hola, mi gente linda. This is Allison from the Cultural Classroom behind the camera, giving you a quick look at the Semana Santa Feria web quest and digital notebook. Sometimes people are confused about what a digital notebook, web quests are or is. So I wanted to kind of hop on and just let you know really quickly what you're getting when you download one of my web quest and digital notebooks. So first off, you get a web quest which you can access through Teachers Pay Teachers when you purchase it and it comes as a Google download, as a Google Drive download and um, it's completely organized for you. There is nothing for you to do. It is ready to go. Plug and play, no prep. All of these tabs are hyperlinked, so if you wanted to jump to the All About You section, you could just go to that. If you wanted to jump to the Exploring Sevilla, you would jump to that section and so on and so forth. And so everything is completely hyperlinked and organized. There's a table of contents and everything is hyperlinked. So it's very, very, very organized. There are five blocks of activities. And so you can think about that when you're organizing your um, pacing for um, Semana Santa and Feria. Um, you might want to do all of this during Semana Santa, or you might want to do half of it during Semana Santa and half of it for Feria, however you choose to divide the activity. Um, I just like to do it all at once um, because I get a good three to five days out of this activity. Everything is interactive. There's about 30 pages in here. And some of my favorite features are um, that it begins with a look inward to the student. So I always have this story arc <laughs> that I try to follow in my web quest, which is all about you. And it has the student reflect about what they celebrate um, and what are their similarities or differences to the target culture that we're studying. But on page seven, which you can kind of see I'm like scrolling on the side, page seven, you can explore Sevilla. Sevilla is literally the bomb.com. It is a gorgeous city. If you've been there, you know, you know, you know. It is a beautiful city and it is just even more beautiful because of these two massive holidays that are just celebrated um, wonderfully in Sevilla. And Semana Santa in Sevilla is one of the largest celebrations of Semana Santa in Spain. So that's why it has so much fame. Um, my other activity that I love is the infographs. So I have two sets of infographs and I like infographs because the students get to practice their Spanish, but with pictures, like with assistance. And so they get to look at the pictures and then they get to answer questions related to the images. And so all of these questions I wrote and um, they just use the images to answer them, the images and the, the text. Additionally, I love, let's see, this one, um, vocabulary related to feria. And so some of it is like dance related and like related to like the like traje de gitano and whatnot, like the stuff that they wear. And then the students actually get to see it in these videos when they play them. They get to actually see authentic realia of people dancing in their, um, in their like little home, the little casetas, and it's just, it's really cool. And so I lived in Spain. It was just a wonderful experience. I'm glad that I can share my travels with fellow teachers. And um, let me know if you have any questions. And I hope you enjoy this project. Ciao.